and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. In order to restore our legacy, we must shift our focus from the heathens to ourselves. The more we work on ourselves and draw closer to the Most High, the sooner our redemption would come. Prayer, repentance, and submitting to the Most High brings deliverance to our people. The scripture said, If my people, who are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. If Israelites around the world would humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways, our conditions would improve. There are many Israelites lost in the beast system. Even Israelites in the awakening are lost and do not know how to seek the Most High. Instead of humbling themselves, many are looking at other Israelites' journey to find faults. We all have work to do. The scripture said, first, remove the beam out of your eyes to see clearly before trying to remove a splinter from your brother's and sister's eyes. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. If Israelites would take the time to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling, a lot of the problems we face as a community would resolve. Israelites have the tendency to judge other Israelites harshly while ignoring their own iniquities. Everyone must do their part for all of us to thrive as a community. When King David allowed Satan to deceive him into taking a census, the Most High judged the entire twelve tribe for King David's sin. And David said unto God, Is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Even I it is that have sinned and done evil indeed. But as for these sheep, what have they done? Let thine hand, I pray thee, O Lord my God, be on me and on my father's house, but not on thy people, that they should be plagued. Our ancestors sinned, and as their descendants we carry the burden from their iniquities. We live in a foreign land that is not our own. The promised land the Most High gave to our ancestors, the heathens have claimed for themselves. We are captives being abused among the heathens. We were not around when our ancestors chose to disobey the Most High, yet we carry the burden to their sins. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. What we do influences the next generation. We must leave a legacy that would make the future generations proud to be our descendants. When we pass curses to the next generation, we make it harder for them to survive. Look how difficult it is for this generation to serve the Most High living among the heathens. Remember, the Most High said he would punish the children for the sins of their fathers to the third and fourth generation. If we as a people continue in our ancestors' iniquities, the Most High would allow the judgment from the sins of our fathers passed down to the next generation. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. If every Israelite focus on improving themselves and their relationship with the Most High, you will see how fast our communities improve and how we would triumphant over the enemy. There is a lot of Israelites among us who wants to change and draw closer to the Most High, but their flesh is weak. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. 
The reason so many Israelites perish among the heathens and submit to the flesh, Israelites are operating independently from the Most High. Many Israelites believe they are the ones who must change themselves. The scripture said it is the Most High that does the good work in us. In addition, Yah said he would provide. Israelites, you must let the Most High do the work in you to nourish your body with the bread of life, Yah's words. The Holy Spirit is motivating your spirit to draw near to the Most High. In order to come to the Most High, Yah must draw you to Him. You cannot come on your own accord. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me. Draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Because the Most High must draw you to Him, you cannot change yourself. The more you try to fix yourself, the more broken you become. Every Israelite who wants to serve the Most High did not elevate to that level through self-righteousness. The Most High had to draw you to Him. The way the Most High accomplished drawing you to Him, by placing the desire in your heart to serve Him. When you accepted the call, a battle between the flesh and the Spirit began. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Israelites, in order to win the battle against your flesh, you must allow the Most High to do the work. I did not become the woman I am today on my own accord. The Most High did the work by cleansing me and renewing my mind. The way the Most High humble and promote His people, through tests and trials. The trials the Most High allow in my life humbled me to bring the change. The Most High tests us to show us what's in our heart. In addition, the Most High tests us to show us that we can trust Him. In order to change and elevate spiritually as a people, we must submit to the Most High and allow Him to do the work in us. If you try to cleanse yourself through self-righteousness, you will fail every time. That is why the scripture said the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I am sure if we could change ourselves, sincere Israelites who love the Most High would be serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The kingdom of darkness through the serpent seed made many Israelites believe they must work hard to accomplish what they need. With that mentality, you oppress the Most High's help. You are now relying on self-sufficiency to survive. Israelites, anything you gain through the work of the flesh are temporary. Satan could rob the fruits of your labor through the works of the flesh. Israelites are working multiple full-time jobs in the beast system while running a small business to survive in the land of their captivity. The kingdom of darkness made you believe this is how you must labor in order to become successful. That is false. The workers of iniquity deceive you into accepting heavy labor to enslave you to their demonic corporations, while they enjoy the fruits of your labor. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. You cannot do anything without the Most High. You need the Most High. It is because many Israelites choose religion over a relationship with the Most High, they are deteriorating among the heathens. If our people included the Most High in their everyday life, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Your enemy would become your footstool. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Israelites, we cannot ignore the role the heathens play in our downfall. The heathens contribute to making sure we remain at the bottom. However, we cannot focus on the heathens and place 100% of our downfall on them. In the house of the Most High, there are vessels made for honor and some for dishonor. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? The Most High will use the vessels of dishonor to discipline His people. Remember, change comes through trials and tribulations. Our ancestors chose to disobey the Most High. There are many Israelites in this generation continuing the rebellion of our ancestors by rejecting the Most High. There are consequences to your sins. Religion said your sins was forgiven by accepting the Messiah. However, the Most High said he would punish his people for all their iniquities. Religion is not of the Most High. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. 
against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them, and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. According to their uncleanness, and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them, and hid my face from them. Right now, we are at a phase in the awakening where we cannot let the distractions from the heathens consume our lives. The more we focus on the heathens and their rebellion towards the Most High, we become distracted from the awakening. The purpose of their distraction, to hinder our relationship with the Most High. By now, we all should know the kingdom of darkness through the serpent seed, whitewash history. We should have an absolute assurance that we are the Israelites. We do not need the heathens to confirm this. We should know Satan wants to replace the indigenous black people with his tares. We should know that the wisdom of this world is foolishness and the heathens are delusional. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Yes, we must counter their lies with the truth. However, we should not let time-wasting spirits consume us with their lies. Satan want you to waste time with his distractions. That is how he succeed in excluding the Most High out of your lives. The kingdom of darkness want you to make decisions on your emotions and independently from the Most High. A person who rely on their emotions to make decisions are double-minded and unstable in all their ways. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. One of the many errors of the indigenous people, excluding the Most High out of their life. The beast system set up a society that separate the chosen people from their Elohim. If the people cannot connect to their life source, what do you believe would happen? Religion is the barrier and a stronghold that prevent our people from building a personal relationship with the Most High. Many of our people have a relationship with religion, unclean spirits, and wicked spiritual leaders. You should not allow any man, religion, and man-made laws take the Most High's place in your heart. You must dethrone every idol in your life. The kingdom of darkness through the beast system has been controlling Israelites for multiple generations. The beast system is set up for you to never rise as a people. Many Israelites need to understand that they must separate from the ways of this world to find freedom. Only the Most High could restore our legacy. We cannot live off the accomplishments of our ancestors forever. We must continue their legacy and build on their legacy as well. We must do our part to continue our heritage. If we do not teach our children of who they are and our accomplishments as a people, the next generation will forget their culture and devalue their heritage just as many are doing today. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way. And when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and on thy gates. We cannot rely on the beast system to tell us who we are and where we came from. The workers of iniquity flooded history with lies. The heathens have stolen our rich heritage and claim it for themselves. Remember, the scripture said the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. The serpent seed has been stealing, killing, and destroying for multiple generations. Israelites fighting to become equal with the heathens in the beast system is not progressing our people nor restoring our legacy. Lusting after the heathen's material junk instead of accepting the Most High's offer is unwise. The heathens will continue to serve their idols and observe their pagan traditions. They will encourage you to forget the ways of the Most High to join them. You must rise above the lust of the flesh to succeed in the beast system. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Restoring our legacy is not only countering the lies, 
told by the heathens, but also how we carry ourselves and where we get inspiration from. The Most High and the Messiah that came in the Father's name should be our example. Remember, there are two Messiahs. Many Israelites look to prostitutes, whoremongers, adulterers and adulteresses, sorcerers and liars for wisdom and inspirations. But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore, against whom do ye sport yourselves, against whom make ye a wide mouth, and draw out the tongue. Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? The beast system selected individuals from our community who traded their glory for the lesser to glorify in the beast system to influence you to follow them. Celebrities from our communities should not be your inspiration or people you look to to help our communities. Many of them are lost and have sold their soul to Satan. Anyone who rap about how good they are in bed and then think the most high for giving them a number one song talking about how good they are in bed is lost. Satan gave you the number one song, not the most high. Religious leaders should not be your hero. Religious leaders of today are workers of iniquity in disguise. In addition, they are high level sorcerers. The most high should be your inspiration. You should only allow the most high to direct your steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. You should not look to any man or woman for inspiration. The Holy Spirit living in you would guide you and teach you how to fulfill your calling. The Spirit of the Most High would teach you how to conduct yourself. The liars and the sorcerers you look to in the beast system are leading you on the broad road to destruction. Many of these workers of iniquity are posing as leaders and anointed teachers from the Most High in the awakening. Israelites, ask the Most High for a double portion of the spirit of discernment. By their fruits, you would know them. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. When the people of the Most High become tired of the persecutions and humble themselves, just as the Most High instruct them, Yah would restore his people and reverse their captivity. Whatever the heathens have stolen, the Most High would return. The scripture said the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The reason the conditions of the indigenous people continue to deteriorate is due to their refusal to serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth. Since the beginning of time, the original people have allowed the serpent seed to rob them of the dominion the Most High gave to them. The Most High gave His people dominion over the earth. The original indigenous black people refused to step up and rule. Many have placed a heathen king over them. Many admire the heathen seed to the point that they hate their reflection and what comes from them. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. You cannot restore your legacy if you hate yourself. The original people who hate themselves would be no different from the heathens who whitewash history. The black people who hate themselves claim the indigenous dark people legacy to uplift themselves, then turn around and white out their seed. Make it make sense. The Most High must do the work in us to reverse what the kingdom of darkness has done to many Israelites at the root. The root to all your problems is in the spirit realm. That is why you must serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. You cannot operate in the flesh to be one with the Most High. Yah, communicate with your spirit. For God speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. Only the Most High could restore our legacy and lead his people on the path to eternal life. The heathens can whitewash and plant lies in their media. 
The Most High said he will restore and give his people the years the workers of iniquity have stolen from them. Israelites, make sure you are at a place where the Most High can locate you to fulfill the promises of restoring his people back to greatness. Remember, sin separate you from the Most High. Take a stand with the Most High and serve the Most High wholeheartedly. By doing this, the Most High will show himself strong through you. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting.